Well, it's Thursday night, March 19th. For those of you who might not know me, I'm Pastor Mike Currier, pastor here at the Body of Christ Community. I'm here in an empty church, along with two of my dearest friends, my pa pastor Eric, co-pastor with me, and Ryan Sansom, who's coordinating the video and sound on this. Um, like most places, public places now, it's pretty empty. But I wanted to come to you tonight, uh, just share a couple things with you. First of all, I, I just got off the phone a couple hours ago with the mayor here of Willoughby, Bob Fiala, who called and asked me if I would contact the churches who have the ability to ring bells, uh, either electronically or actual bells, every night about 6 o'clock, beginning tomorrow, um, to just kind of remind the community that we're in this together, that we need each other. He also asked me, which I totally agreed with him, to ask everybody to pray at 6 o'clock, to stop for a moment and pray for our community, for the strength that we need to be there for each other and to get through this, this struggle. And that's what we want to do. And here at the Body of Christ community, uh, as many of you watching this are part of this church community, as followers of Jesus, uh, this is what we're all about. We're a community that wants to be there for each other and a community that's always served the people outside of this worship center. As you know, many of us are involved at the McKinley Outreach Center or the Willoughby House of Prayer. Uh, we want to be committed to our larger community during this time of struggle so that people don't, no one has to feel alone. And I'd, I'd want to say that to anybody in our church community or anybody else in our area right here, if you really are alone and feel alone and maybe you're getting desperate or you're, you're really depressed or you don't know what to do, don't hesitate to call myself or Pastor Eric uh, here at the Body of Christ community. Uh, you can call us at uh, 942-1985 or 216-870-6354. We'd be more than happy to talk with you and to put you in touch with whoever might be able to help you. Uh, that's what we're here for. We want to be of service. We believe that's why Christ has us here at this time, at this moment in history, to be there for one another. We know for uh, any of you that are experiencing any kind of uh, physical suffering now, hopefully it's not the virus, but if you're going through a tough time physically, we pray the Lord's healing on you tonight, that you will feel comfort and know that the Lord is truly with you. We want to be able to be a community of believers that through this time, no matter how long it takes, that we are a sign that we are not alone, you are not alone, and that Christ is truly with us. We have a sculpture out on the hill that many of you might know on our property. It's, it's called Jesus the Healer. He sits on a wall out there with his arms expressed to the wider community. And there's a saying on a rock right next to him that many of you might know, and it simply says, I'm always with you. And especially at this time, each one of us needs to know that, that he is always with us, that we're not alone. I want to invite you to tune in Sunday morning at around 10 o'clock. We're going to be live streaming our service. Unfortunately, for the next few weeks, we cannot have a lot of people here. We're going to have some of our music ministry here, a couple other people. So we'll, have, we'll be abiding by the, uh, the regulations of not having more than 10 people. But we want to be here to reach out to whoever wants to tune in, that you can join with us in hearing the good news of, of God's hope for us and celebrating uh, what we share together in humanity and as fellow believers. Hopefully in a few weeks, we can have everybody back in this room as well as the other churches in the area so that we can all be together physically. But even though we cannot be physically together, we are community. We are there in spirit for one another, and through modern technology, thank God, we can stay connected. So I pray that you have a, a good night tonight, a peaceful night. Rest comfortably. We'll, we'll wake up tomorrow. We'll work our way through this as our country will, as our world will. We ask the Lord to release us from this pandemic as soon as possible, whether it's in China, in Europe, all over the world, especially here in the United States, and for us right here in Northeast Ohio. We pray that the good Lord will help us, heal us, strengthen us, and we move forward. Have a great night. God bless you.